300 feet beneath the Atlantic Ocean, a machine worth $3 billion moves in absolute silence. No lights betray its position, no sound escapes its hull. Inside, 135 men live in a metal tube, breathing recycled air surrounded by enough firepower to level entire cities. This is not science fiction. This is the Virginia class attack submarine, the most advanced underwater weapon ever built. And today you're going inside. Welcome deep warfare to the invisible war. To understand why these submarines represent the pinnacle of naval engineering, we need to go back to where it all began. The concept of submarine warfare is over a century old. During World War I, German U-boats terrorized Allied shipping lanes. By World War II, submarines had become strategic weapons, capable of strangling supply lines and projecting power across oceans. But everything changed in 1954, when the USS Nautilus became the first nuclear-powered submarine. No longer bound by the need to surface for air or fuel, nuclear submarines could remain submerged for months, limited only by food supplies and crew endurance. The Cold War turned submarines into the ultimate deterrent. Soviet and American boomers, ballistic missile submarines, prowled the depths, each carrying enough nuclear warheads to trigger Armageddon. The logic was terrifying but simple. If you can't find them, you can't destroy them. And if you can't destroy them, you can't win a first strike. Today's submarines have evolved beyond deterrence. They are intelligence platforms, special operations insertion vehicles, precision strike weapons, and underwater apex predators, all rolled into one. And the Virginia class leads the pack. The Virginia class submarine is 377 feet long, longer than a football field, and displaces 7,800 tons when submerged. Its hull is constructed from HY-80 steel, a high yield alloy designed to withstand crushing pressures at depths exceeding 800 feet, but the exact test depth remains classified. What makes it invisible isn't just depth, it's silence. Every surface is covered in anechoic tiles, rubber-like materials that absorb sonar pings instead of reflecting them. The propulsion system uses a pump jet propulsor instead of traditional propellers dramatically reducing cavitation noise. Even the machinery inside is mounted on floating rafts to prevent vibrations from reaching the hull. The result? At operational speeds, a Virginia-class submarine is quieter than the ambient noise of the ocean. It doesn't just hide in the water, it becomes the water. Russian and Chinese navies have spent billions trying to match this level of stealth. They haven't succeeded. At the heart of every Virginia-class submarine is a S9G nuclear reactor, a pressurized water reactor that produces 40,000 shaft horsepower. It doesn't burn fuel in the traditional sense. Instead, it harnesses nuclear fission, splitting uranium-235 atoms to generate heat, which boils water, which drives steam turbines, which turn the propulsor. This reactor will never need refueling during the submarine's 33-year lifespan. Think about that. A single core load will power this machine through decades of operations, across millions of miles without ever surfacing for fuel. The reactor also produces electricity, and enough to power a small town. This energy runs everything. Life support systems, desalination plants that produce fresh water, advanced sonar arrays, weapon systems, and even a soft serve ice cream machine. Yes, really. But with great power comes great risk. The reactor compartment is heavily shielded with lead and water to contain radiation. Access is restricted. If something goes catastrophically wrong, if the cooling system fails, the crew has minutes, not hours. It hasn't happened yet. But submariners know the ocean is unforgiving, and so is nuclear physics. Step inside the control room, the nerve center of the submarine. This is where the commanding officer and his watch team operate the boat. Every decision, every maneuver, every weapon launch originates here. Gone are the periscopes of old. The Virginia class uses photonics masks, high definition cameras mounted on retractable arms that feed imagery to large flat panel displays. The captain doesn't squint through an eyepiece anymore. He sits in a chair, surrounded by screens, commanding a warship like a starship. Navigation is handled by an inertial guidance system so precise it can track the submarine's position within meters without GPS, without surfacing for months at a time. During covert operations near hostile coastlines, this accuracy is the difference between mission success and international incident. The weapons control station manages the submarine's arsenal Mark 48 torpedoes, Tomahawk cruise missiles, and Harpoon anti-ship missiles. A single Virginia-class boat can carry up to 37 weapons in its torpedo room and 12 vertical launch tubes. It can sink an aircraft carrier, it can strike a building 1,000 miles inland, and it can do it all without ever being detected. And now imagine living here, not for a day, not for a week, for three months. 135 sailors share a space smaller than most suburban homes. There are no windows, no sunlight, no fresh air, time becomes abstract, divided into 18 hour cycles with six hours on watch, 12 hours off. You eat, sleep, and work in rotating shifts. The calendar loses meaning. Bunks are stacked three high, each about the size of a coffin. Officers get slightly more space, but not much. Privacy is a luxury that doesn't exist. You sleep in your uniform. You shower every three days if water rations allow. The food is surprisingly good. 
Submariners are fed better than any other branch of the military, a tradition dating back to World War II. Morale is fragile underwater, and good meals matter, but the psychological toll is real. You're cut off from the world. No phone calls, no internet, no news. If something happens to your family, you won't know unless the Navy decides it's critical. Some sailors crack under the pressure. Most adapt, a few even thrive. The submarine force attracts a certain kind of person, someone who can function in isolation, stay calm under pressure, but meant to entrust their life to the person standing next to them. Because if something goes wrong at 400 feet down, there is no rescue, there is no escape. There is only the crew. In submarine warfare, you can't see your enemy. You listen for them. The Virginia class is equipped with the most advanced sonar suite ever deployed. The bow contains a massive spherical array with thousands of hydrophones. A towed arrays trail behind the submarine listening for low-frequency sounds across hundreds of miles. Flank arrays along the hull detect contacts on the beam. Sonar operators, called sonar tech, spend hours in the dark rooms, headphones on, interpreting acoustic signatures. Every ship, every submarine, every whale makes a unique sound. The sonar tech's job is to identify it, classify it, and determine if it's a threat. But the ocean is loud. Thermal layers bend sound waves. Marine life creates false contacts. A passing cargo ship can mask a lurking enemy submarine, and modern adversaries know this. They design quieter submarines. They operate in noisy coastal waters. They wait. This is acoustic warfare, a chess game played in three dimensions, where the first move might be your last. The Virginia class has the advantage, but it's not invincible. In 2009, a US and British nuclear submarine collided in the Atlantic. Both were on patrol. Neither detected the other. The ocean is vast, but it's not empty. And in the deep, silence is survival. So why does all of this matter? Why spend $3 billion on a single submarine? Because control of the seas means control of the world. 90% of global trade moves by ship. Undersea cables carry 99% of international internet traffic. And in a conflict, the side that controls the oceans can blockade enemies, protect allies, and strike anywhere, anytime. Nuclear submarines are the ultimate power projection tool. They can loiter off hostile coasts for months, undetected, gathering intelligence, waiting for orders. They can insert Navy SEALs onto enemy beaches. They can launch cruise missiles at strategic targets. And in the worst case scenario, ballistic missile submarines can retaliate with nuclear strikes even if the homeland is destroyed. This is deterrence in its purest form. The enemy knows you're out there. They just don't know where. China is rapidly expanding its submarine fleet. Russia has modernized its underwater force. The next war, if it comes, will be fought in the deep. And the Virginia class is America's ace. But technology alone doesn't win wars. It's the sailors inside, volunteers who chose to live in a metal tube, who traded sunlight for service, who became silent warriors in the invisible war. As of 2025, 21 Virginia class submarines are in service, with more under construction. Each one represents the cutting edge of naval warfare. Each one carries the weight of national security on its hull. And somewhere, right now, one is gliding through the darkness. Unseen, unheard, unstoppable. There's an old saying in the submarine force. There are two types of ships, submarines and targets. It's not arrogance. It's the cold truth of modern naval warfare. Surface ships are visible, aircraft are loud, but a nuclear submarine? It's a ghost. The sailors who serve aboard these machines don't seek glory. They can't talk about where they've been or what they've done. Their deployments are classified. Their missions are secret. When they return to port, there are no parade, but they know what they've accomplished. They've kept the peace by preparing for war. They've protected sea lanes that keep the global economy moving. They've gathered intelligence that prevented conflicts, and they've stood ready to launch, knowing that if they ever receive that order, the world as we know it has already ended. The Virginia-class submarine represents humanity at its most ingenious and most dangerous. It's a marvel of engineering, a triumph of science, and a weapon of unimaginable power. But ultimately, it's a tool, and like all tools, it reflects the intentions of those who wield it. As long as nations compete for power, as long as oceans cover the earth, submarines will prowl the deep, silent, watchful, waiting. This is the world's most advanced nuclear submarine, and this is the Invisible War. Thanks for watching.